Yes, family, we're live at Bomani Technology Studios, and you know, this, these are the new T-shirts, family. Yeah. It's Next year, I'm working on a red version. I got the black version, got the gray, got the white. I'm saying I got all kind of flavors. It's gonna be popping. Yeah, yeah, all kind of flavors, huh? So every time we do a different tour, I print new T-shirts. So it's out there. But yes, family, the journey of a lifetime is no joke, and Troy is gonna be on one of these journeys, and yes. we're gonna be talking about our exciting book on these journeys. And it's like a demonstration how to give H E A D. <laughs> no, it's not. So do not buy it thinking that. That's not what it is. Yeah. It's not a how to anything. It's hey, a. Um... Fam, let me show you something. Especially if you can't read, don't even worry about reading. Just, if, you, if you couldn't read, what, what do you thought would this book mean to you? Man, it's a small version right there. Bam. Load up for you. It's the answers to intimacy. Why men need oral sex and why women need to talk. So I'm sure you're like, damn, what is that about? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm gonna get this. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get this for my girlfriend and everything. Yeah? So people are excited. They're thinking of all kind of things. Cause some people, they should be. what they're not doing is they're just reading the tight. They're reading the bottom part. You know, they they miss about to say the top part, the I word, and they just like go to the bottom like bam. They saw the O word, O R A L. So like, oh yeah, that's what's up. You know, so it takes like five seconds and that's what they see in the first five seconds. Yeah, well I think too. So that's what you sold out. Like, <laughs> you know, I hope you're not, hopefully people are not disappointed that, that's, that, that they dirty mind weren't fulfilled. So far, nobody's been disappointed. Because here's the as thing. As long as you don't think with a dirty mind, because my sister's saying that's not what the book is no, about. It's about your, intimacy. Your mind can be wherever you want it to be now. Always be creative. <laughs> Your life changes when you move from a competitive mind to a creative mind. So being creative is great. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying is that you have to be intentional with how you choose to love somebody. But a lot of men don't always realize that a woman's primary sex organ is her brain. So that's why she needs to, to speak. She needs to have a chance to say what she's experienced and share what's on her heart. And then when she's there, then she's able to, to talk to to do whatever she needs to do to please somebody else but um, relationships are reciprocal so there has to be an exchange and uh, understanding and a lot of times if you understand why somebody needs something it's easier and you're uh, more excited to do it perfect whatever it is it may just be picking up groceries and that's in the book too the five love languages so we talk about how different people receive love if you love somebody in a way that they actually receive it it makes a difference it was just up. She's breaking it down to the breakdown. That's right. Off it. So once again, you're on your way out to share your message with the world of love and intimacy. You know, like a you know, like a nice cultural revolution. Yeah, we gotta and start. You got your um, five steps broken down. You got it all figured out. Well, I don't have everything figured out, but this part is definitely well done. That's why you got men trying to take you all around the world. That is what's up. <laughs> well, that was before the book. That's, I'm old, bad Troy. Now, that's not going to change until I get married. Because I'm me. I mean, I'm black and I'm beautiful. And, you know, sisters just got it going on. Yeah, I'm sure when they see the book and they look at those lips, and they're like, wow, with them lips. The lips, are they going to lose their mind? I don't know. Yeah. So you got to give the email address that folks on where they, they can put in their applications and resume. <laughs> To connect with you on an incredible escapade across the world. Well, you can, you can for information about the book, you can email me at the answers to racism, just spelled out phonetically, the answers to racism at gmail.com. That is what's up. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And so, family, she has lots of videos and things she's going to be sharing with you on the book. I'm sure you have an audio book and all kind of stuff, and then you have a demonstration book again, so it's all good. All that's coming out soon. So who are you going to have playing as the actors in the book? In the audio book? It's just going to be me. I'm going to be reading. No, when you do that, when you do the actual action book, the video and things, and you got to actually demonstrate. Who are you going to have playing you and everything? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, who's going to play me in my life story? Diana Ross. I love her. She's going to be old and outdated. She's going to be oh, like she's um, gonna be like a mummy by then. I don't know. She's my favorite person. <laughs> so it came to my mind first, Diana Ross. Africa for the Africans repatriation tour coming up in May. Sign up to go. You're going to love it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So then people are waiting to see you in the last journey. You got guys lined up, you know, they're like, yeah, but money you gonna bring up for me? I'm, I'm gonna propose to you better than these guys. Propose <laughs> to you. you got like, guys lined up and pro propose to you. And then they're ready for you in Ghana. I might be married by then. I don't know. I'm well, not really even dating. For, I mean, I date people, but I'm not like serious with anybody right now. So, um, we'll see. We'll get yeah. the best Christmas gift. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, they're going to say a lot of things. It's unbelievable. What they're going to say is like, we're going to fight for you. You are a warrior. You're, you're a warrior. We're going to fight for you. We're going to, you know, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, you know, so you be prepared. I'm worth it. They, they, they're ready, so you're hopefully if you marry, don't them. bring your husband because they might, you might take him uh, out first. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said he wasn't worried enough. I'm the man. <laughs> no, that's not funny. It's going to be a great tour. Bring your husband. He's going to love it too. That's it. Because yeah, you know, these journeys that we do, they're like, you know, we call them uh, uh, lover's paradise. Yeah. You know, you know, you know especially for women who have just been anticipating, you know, they're on holiday, so. You know, when you're on holiday and you get away, uh, you're like the perfect husband and wife for people. You know, but you know, you know, but, you know I tell people that the, the, they see in a life that you're, you know, you're on a getaway, right. you're on a journey, you know, uh, away from the day to day. But you know, nevertheless, you know, you become more attractive, and you know, that's how a lot of people connect. That's true. You know, because you know, when you, I guess, when you're moving around, you're working, you're more what, you're more like focus. You know, like a lot of times people work with people five, ten years, and they don't realize that you know they probably could have been great together, but you know it's like they like distracted. Yeah. And then you yeah, got some people that are straight up like some guys are straight womanizer. That's like, so true. <laughs> every woman that they hire, they think that the, the, the woman want to have sex with them and be with them. <laughs> yeah. So the game is wild, family. Uh, you know, and you know, if you know, if we didn't you know laugh or smile about some of these things with us, we would just stay. We would just have a broken heart. It's That's just so unbelievable. True. But you know, it gets wild and everything and. It's yes. like I talk about land, and then it's like, you know, you got to get your lawyer to, you know, to tell people you're trying to do business in the country like Ghana, get your lawyer before you get land and things like that. And in this situation, you may want to get your lawyer to get into some of these relationships. Oh, right? Lord. <laughs> Not me. I think hopefully with my next relationship, I won't need a prenuptial agreement. We'll just... Oh, uh, you had one before? No, I should have had one. Oh, you know... Uh, well. <laughs> wow. But I mean, I don't, I don't think I need. Oh wow! Well, so oh, you came up, you came up on some money. That's what's up. I wish I had came up on some money. <laughs> came up on some nickels and dimes. <laughs> I wish I had came up on some dollars. That ain't what happened. <laughs> but the <laughs> next time, <laughs> I will come up on something. Maybe, hopefully. No, but I really hope whoever I'm with the next time will stay together forever. Me and my ex-husband actually had a chance to spend some time together over the holidays. I'm so grateful that um, even though we didn't stay married, and the thing that he was saying about, um, you know, he feel like we have more authenticity and fun and friendship in our relationship than a lot of married couples. And that's why it's so important to really find um, that intimate connection and, and be authentic in your relationship because um, growing better is important and growing bitter just ain't what it do. So regardless of how your situation goes or ends or whatever it is, you got to make sure that you learn the lessons that God is allowing you to learn and uh, make sure you know what they are so that your next relationship like mine is going to be great. Awesome. That is perfect. So yeah. you are super excited. Yeah, I am. I'm well, excited you... about my next relationship. Yeah. I don't know who it's going to be with, but you have more idea who it's going to be than I do. I don't know. I'm going to say any me to mind my that 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 is what's up. Well, at least you can um you can process the resumes and applications and see what happens. Process. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You have to process it and make sure you know you know make sure you get your look at your analytics and everything and the comparison and everything. Yeah. That is true. Oh, you can just have all of them gather together and have a conclave and the the surviving fighter wins. A <laughs> conclave. That would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. I bet you would enjoy that. That's funny. That is what's up. So, family. Uh, just hopefully the person who wins doesn't get castrated while he wins. Things what are you like that. talking about? <laughs> so, 
So, that but yeah, you know, you know, so you don't want them to fight, and then you know, the person that wins might be damaged goods. No, we don't want no damaged goods. There you go. So you might have to do a different route. Yeah, we'll just talk it out. Yeah. So this, how about the roll of dice, and the flip of coins and stuff like that. That's a possibility. Yes, so family, my sister is excellent, and she is ready to. Yeah, and, and she's ready to just send out those book orders for you for Christmas so you can get on your intimacy journey yes. and your reconnection to, to real love, all right? That's right. Being and, intentional with And give up your life of booty calls and one night stands. <laughs> that's right. right. So to, no more than that. Tell you, that. You used to be a victim of that, right? No, that's not. It's never been my style because oh, you got to oh, remember. Oh, no, it's part of the other thing. I heard you as a cleanup woman. <laughs> no. I love the song. I love Ben Wright, but no. Uh, I thought that was you. No. Yeah, um, I, I wish we had. I wish we had some somebody like a, a cameraman, a computer man, or somebody technician <laughs> play. You know, play the song "Clean Up Woman." Right. I love the song. I love Ben I'm Wright. Sorry, but, I don't share. I don't want nobody leftovers. I don't. Uh, Come on, sing that song. I like that song. No. You know the tunes, right? I know. So, fam, we gonna call this one. The clean up woman is back. <laughs> and that's gonna be No, we're not gonna call it that. Part two of Troya's book. <laughs> <laughs> we are not gonna call it that. Right? No, absolutely not. She said you mm -mm. said she don't repeat what you just said, you said leftovers and I don't and, want no leftovers and I don't share. Wow. So you you like selfish. I'm honest. You so you said you selfish? But if you think about People it, say sharing you, is caring, right? No, if you with the same person for a long time, what well, the man then, want a threesome? We well, even better find him a woman that's gonna give him one. I'm not. So you gotta, you gotta, you gotta check that off in the box, you know. No. As far as the, you know, a part of the, uh, the pre-agreement, no threesomes and no, no lesbo act. You gotta explain all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? People be expecting all kinds well, of things. If he asks me, I'll tell him. But yeah, that's not a good explanation. You know what I'm saying? No. By the time you tell him, it might be too late. Well, I'm a Scorpio. Yeah, I don't, you gotta, I don't you gotta, you gotta put like the dis you gotta put like the disclaimer. If you want a disclaimer, I'll, I'll let him know. But that's what's up. I'm not doing that crazy. She said it's crazy. Yeah. But if you think about it, if you're with somebody for let's say 20 years, if you're um, being intentional with connecting to them on an intimate level on a regular basis you will not be in a monogamous relationship or well you may be monogamous but you won't be with the same person so for example think about yourself at 20 and then 25 and then 30 and 35 and then 40 you are a totally different person mm -hmm. I'm very different at 40 than I was at 20 and so you know, when people are saying, well, y'all don't think we're meant to be monogamous. Well, yes and no, in a sense, because you're not going to be with the same person um, psychologically and physiologically because that person is going to change. My sexual needs at 20 and at 40 are very different. Men's sexual needs at 20 and 40, their psychological needs are very different, especially when you change jobs, when you relocate That's to a different true. geographical area. All that stuff is different, so you don't know what's going to happen. So if you um, are committed to know to going deeper with that person instead of wider and in introducing, I don't, I don't, I don't judge when you bring other people into your relationship, but I just don't think it's wise because um, you never know what another person's experiences have been. You don't know what their intentions are, regardless of what they say. You don't know the baggage they carry. They may be, you know, really crazy and want to stalk you or kill you or you know ruin your relationship or just oh, kill perfect. your kids or something crazy. You don't know. So you're saying that's like a setup. It's kind of like uh, so you're saying that's like a setup, though, right? Setup what? I'm bringing somebody in for those things. Yeah, you never know. Don't well, don't invite trouble in. Just um, be with one person, one man, one woman for one lifetime. Perfect. So that's like the same situation of you know a husband hiring a sexy nanny, you know, like a, 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 a grandma, like a black French model. Don't. <laughs> Get you a grandmama. Get you a nice you little know, grandmama. She like she should be on like you know, on the magazines or something like that. And she mm -hmm. just like she a nanny, and then you you off working for these long book tours. And she just won't take and get the children. No, I won't have to have a nanny because I have <laughs> a mom, I have aunts, I have she a like, mom. Like, that I ain't happening. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, I don't do other people in my house or in my bed. No. There you go. Once again, so family, deep into it, family. And so that is. 
uh, Take Family and uh, Sister Troya Sharon uh, excellent excitement escapade book talking about in intimacy. Yeah. So yeah, she wants you to it's have deep. fun and excitement about talking about the situation and not be afraid or shy or scared. Right. right? That's exactly. Be ready to connect on a deeper level with your partner. Share your experiences, your expectations. Um, be ready to adjust your expectations um, and, and just really go to a different place. Yeah, and uh, seriously, and women, you know, when you look at the demonstration videos, you know, this, uh, this, you know, this, do some of those exercises, you know, some of those exercises up there, you know. What is he talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> right. right, there you go. So, do the exercise but I do and get ready. Several, um, Action a guide page light. of um, non-sexual ways to co to connect on a deeper, intimate level. And some deep action guides. Partner. And the action guide is great too. It, the action guide is the demonstration film. That's a fun part about it. That's why you want to buy the book. You want to be motivated for action. Definitely, you want to be motivated. And for she's action. gonna come out with a more intimate book on details. Now I do think I she's will do that. She's gonna call it Kama Century, Kama Sutra, Twenty First Century. <laughs> Right. I don't know about that. And showing the flexibility, right? But I will. Come, I am <laughs> gonna gonna talk about sex more in the next book. Go family. In the new, near future. So there you go, family. And once again, let me just share the title with you and remind you once again. Troy's being very calm and nice about it. About <laughs> the title, uh, which once she was gonna use some those words. Yeah. But anyway, family. Uh, the journey continues. Yes. And next time we're going to have a real book to show you. Next time he's going to read it before I come. I sent it to him a week ago. He ain't read the book yet, y'all. So he's going to read it and he's going to ask me some detailed questions about it. He must, we gonna, must have a, like a popular go, link on Facebook. You just click on the book to show up. Yeah. I didn't see those kind of links. We're going to go deep into it. You know, fam, I already pre read time. I already pre read a book already. I bet she basically got used my content. I uh, talk about <laughs> the book. <laughs> no, I go, I go deeper. Yeah. He ain't and, reading the yeah. no book. Child. Especially when she started talking about the demonstrations and things. <laughs> you know what I mean? But family, stay tuned for more as we continue in the future on Troy Escapade to Intimacy on our books. Escapade? What are you talking about? And hopefully, you know, you when you go order it, hopefully it doesn't say out of stock. You know, tell her that like, it should we, be in stock. Tell her to do it. Keep like more than five copies in stock. We got, we got, <laughs> we got plating now. No, absolutely. See, so, you know, so there you go. So family, that also tells you that sometimes you're blessed with fame and fortune, and you just gotta believe in it because you are on your way to fame and fortune. Congratulations! I receive it. I Thank know you, you can do that. I know we've been joking about some of the things, but this is a serious book. Enjoyed family, and we will reconnect and show them an image on the book because you know I put my phone on. Oh, we'll see. D E A D. That way it D -E -A -D. can. Yeah, that way it cannot interrupt our call and everything because you know, sometimes the fan base just roll. Bam! There you go. Da, I'm da, sure. da, da, da. L. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you look crooked. I got short arms. The answer to intimacy why men need, you know, and women <laughs> need to, you know. So those are the details, family. So it was good sharing our information, and hopefully, you know, you go out there and connect with our sister and boost up the fame. That way, she can donate some of that big money she's gonna make bigger than Oprah. That's right. Know, to the revolution, you now, because you know, sometimes you know, once you know, you know how folks sometimes when they get a little fame, they get a little bougie. You talk about people <laughs> bougie, you know, you know how these folks get a little bougie. Next, you know, instead of wearing like you know the, the, the Jamaican locks, next thing you know, they wearing, you know, they wearing their Brazilian weave. Yeah, and next thing you know, yeah, and all that stuff, you know, folks, just, we don't pay no money to the revolution. We got to stop that, right? Yep, not me. So, family, I'm ready. so everybody that comes here, I sign a contract, you know, as their manager. If they get famous, they got to donate their money to the revolution. Yeah, and no, no, yeah, there you go. Bam! That's right. Power to the people. And the revolution starts at home, so make sure you love the person that you are with profusely. Be committed to them. Let's build family. Let's build kingdom.